Canadian Muslims. She's joining us from Ottawa. So, Amira, what do you think of the proposed ban? Well, I think we're disappointed, to say the least, uh, particularly, as you mentioned, a few months ago, uh, the PQ government came under fire for their position on banning, you know, young children from playing soccer because of their turbans. So you'd think, you know, the outcry after that, that the PQ government would, you know, start catching up with the times and realize, you know, that uh, Canada and Quebec um, consist of people from all sorts of backgrounds with all sorts of faiths that just want to participate. Why do you think the government wants to move forward with this? Well, we're hoping that they're going to change their mind when they realize um, that people uh, Quebecers included, you know, don't see a reason to be so exclusive. Um, you know, people uh, who practice their different faith beliefs have been participating in Quebec society for a long time. They are doctors, they are nurses, they are teachers, and they're really uh, contributing positively to communities. So to now say, you know, no, you're not allowed to participate because of what you choose to wear, um, it is a huge step backwards, and it's really a big question mark. Why, why does the PQ government want to waste its time on this when there's so many other issues, including the economy, infrastructure, corruption? I mean, there's so much that they should be tackling, and you know, trying to create this divisiveness is, uh, is really questionable. Uh, they say that they want to enshrine secular, the secular character of the province into law. Some saying, why not, though, celebrate diversity that is in the province? Do you find the policy offensive? Well, I think actually there was a there was a, a mayor in Quebec today who is of Jewish background, and he said it best. He said, you know, secularism can accommodate you know pluralistic demographics that they have in Quebec right now. So this is not a, you know a threat to secularism to be able to allow people to express themselves freely. I mean, that is what democracy is all about. Um, so, you know, it, again, it's really a, a big question mark. Why do they want to do this? Why are they creating this division, especially after the Bouchard-Taylor report that came out a few years ago that gave a lot of direction to the Quebec government based on consultations on how to move forward to create a province where there is uh, social cohesion and harmony and where everyone can play uh, an equal and positive role. What has the National Council? Council of Canadian Muslims has been hearing from Quebec since uh, news of this proposal came out. Well, as you know, this proposal has been talked about before. It was uh, talked about in the previous election with the PQ running, you know, on this sort of identity politics. Um, so we've known that this was coming down the pipeline for a long time. But I think with the latest news, people are saying, you know, what does this actually mean? You know, I have started talking to a university student today who, you know, studying law, telling me, you know, she's concerned, you know, is this going to mean that, you know, Muslim women, for example, or a, or a Jewish student or a Sikh student, are they not going to be able, for example, to attend class anymore if they choose to express themselves, uh, you know, per, with their personal faith? They, they have questions. There's many, many, many people of all sorts of backgrounds who work in the public sector. They're not really sure how this is going to play out. And Again, I think people are hoping that common sense prevails here, that there are ways to find a common ground so that, you know, we can continue moving towards, you know, this multicultural, pluralistic society that, that is actually admired around the world. Sure, there's lots of questions. I mean, if you were to walk into a hospital uh, and you're wearing a, a, a turban or a, a kippah or something of that nature, and would you be served because you're in a public uh, uh, building uh, if this law was in, uh, enforced? So a lot of questions around this, obviously, and a lot of people concerned about it. But if this becomes law, will the council get involved in a court challenge? Well, you know, if it goes, if it becomes law, I think there's lots of people who are going to be in interested in challenging this, not just us, but many other people. You know, our mandate is to promote and protect human rights, civil liberties. So um, this, you know, obviously this would be a breach of, uh, you know, Canadian charter rights. It's already would be a breach of the Quebec, uh, you know, charter rights as they stand. So certainly there would be many people who would want to challenge uh, this based on the constitutional norms and laws of this country. I have a feeling this isn't the end of the conversation. Thanks so much, Amira. Amira El-Gawabi, Human Rights Coordinator for the National Council of Canadian Muslims.